Okay, so now we're going to create the top hem for our bag. So that's using that fold line that you drew on at the start. So we're actually going to need to just make sure our iron's on and heat it up. So you're going to have to be very careful with this. Just fold it. And just get the iron in there to fold flat. That should be folded nice and straight. The next step is to stitch along the whole length of this making sure that you are on the on both going through both pieces of fabric and going right from the start all the way to the end in a nice straight line also ensure that you do backwards and forwards at the beginning and the end So you should have sewn a nice straight line, it's easier to see from this side, all the way across, a oh, bit of fluff, across the top. And trim your threads at all times after you've sewn, just to keep your um, working really nice and neat. We need to now put our casing on. And what we're going to use for the casing is this ribbon here. It's a um, 22 millimeter thick ribbon. And the color of this does not matter because this is going to be on the inside of the bag and you won't see it. So we actually just need to measure the, um, measure the piece of casing the same length as our bag and we're just gonna I'm just gonna cut a little bit extra just to make sure we have enough okay and then now using that line that we marked on there um, we line it up with the casing and we need to pin that down remember push the pin halfway through and then all the way up. And as you go at putting a pin in, just keep making sure that it's lined up as you pin it down. Now this next part can be quite tricky. So you need to be really careful um, that you are stitching as close as you can to the line. Um, so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna stitch one row of stitching down all the way here and we're going to make sure that it's really close to the line like as close as possible but making sure that it never goes off the edge it must be always sewing through the ribbon oh sorry the casing and the fabric and then we do that exactly the same on the other side and so we need to be able to feed something through the middle there our drawstring so we must make sure that both of both of these are really really close to the edge but never um, go off the edge okay so for stitching along either side make sure that you've got your machine set to a stitch width of zero stitch length of 2.5 and we're going to just line up now I'm going to take this first pin out put it straight into my pin cushion um, to be able to fit it underneath making sure that it stays lined up and I'm going to just put my presser foot down really close to the edge this um, marker here on the presser foot is going to be really important because whatever you have leading into that will be what you sew. So you need to make sure that the ribbon is the part that's going um, underneath the marker. So I'm just going to use my hand wheel to really carefully stitch a couple stitches. Then I'm going to use my backward stitch by holding up the length. Okay, to lock that stitching in and then now I'm just going to stitch 
all the way down to the end making sure that I stay on the ribbon and on the fabric. that's one side and you also need to make sure that you're happy with the color sh showing through so it will be shown on the outside so pick one that blends in or one that contrasts that you want everyone to see and then we just repeat on the other side And there we go, we should have our casing on our bag. And now at this point you need to get some scissors and you need to trim that excess ribbon. And also remember trimming your threads to keep them nice and neat. Beautiful. 